Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain a trick to filter the data inside a visual dynamically using a measure that is connected to a slicer. Let's jump into PBX file and with the help of some sample data, let's try it out. Here is the PBX file and this data pertains to seven students who took part in a competition between Jan 1st to Jan 10th. So we have seven students. And in the column result, you can see whether that particular student won the competition or did he lose. So one means it's a win and zero stands for it's a loss. So using this data, I want to create a matrix. Okay, so in this metrics, I want to give the user the flexibility to select the criteria. Let's say if the user wants to see the students at, who won at least in three competition, and here they want to filter the data using a measure. So if you see here, the wins, if I have a measure which is called as wins. So if you notice here, it's nothing but this sum of the results, that is how many wins. So now if you see here, if I slide this to three, the last two items disappears, right? Let me re redo it again. So we have two students who won in only two competition, right? So at least two. So now the user wants to see, okay, those the list of the students who own at least three competitions. So if I slide this here to three, so this disappears. This is how we are filtering. So how do we do that? I'll explain step by step. So before that, let me remove all this and let's restart from scratch. So I have deleted all the calculation except a measure which is called as wins, which is nothing but the sum of fact results. So as a first step, what I'm gonna do is I need to create a parameter. So I'll go to the modeling here and then I'll click on a new parameter. So I'll keep this name as I'll call this as criteria. And then minimum is zero, maximum is, I don't need 20 because I know uh, the, the total number of competition that each student took participated is just 10. So I'll just limit it to 10, increment by one and add a slicer to this page. Okay, hit okay. Me resize a bit so let me increase the font size a bit so values let me make this 13 and then okay that should be fine so now we have the values right i'll change this to between so let's say the user wants to see between like the or student who scored between three and let's say eight scores right so between three wins and eight wins they can just filter out so how do i do that so let me use this little drop down here and then choose the between so we have this slider option between okay so next step is i need to build a measure which is called as data filter i'll call this as a data filter Here, I'm going to use a condition. If wins is greater than or equal to, I need the minimum of criteria. and wins is less than or equal to max of criteria then i'll make it as one else zero so i have this condition Now let's see what we get out of this data filter. Let me bring this to the values. So if you see here, we have ones. 
wherever it meets this criteria, minimum two, right? So we have five. So let me increase this a bit. Okay, so it doesn't change, right? So only this value is changing. This particular student, he has scored only two. So now if I increase the criteria to three, the one disappears, the data filter, if you notice here, this disappears here, it becomes zero. So now what I'm gonna do is click on this filters here, expand this a bit and filters on this visual, I will simply drag and drop to the data fields here. And then change this is one. So now notice what happens here. So this will disappear. Apply filter. So the two students disappeared because I have limited, I have put a condition here. Let me log this down, expand this. So now if I play with this slider, you should be able to see the values and the filter uh, kicks in and then the data gets filtered out. So now if I change this, I should get the student F and G. So this is how we, you can link your measures to a slider. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions or any doubts, please drop me a note in the comment section. I'm gonna revert back to you. Okay, so, and thanks for watching.